Amy Bailey and we're at Distributech 2016 in Orlando, Florida and we're at the AT&T Nokia booth and we're here with Kamal and Mike and we're here to talk a little bit more about what's going on with the combination of the company. Um, what innovations are you offering at this point, Kamal? Uh, Amy, Nokia and uh, AT&T are extremely excited to bring disruptive new solution to the utility market in the U.S. Uh, the solution would allow utilities to build and operate their own private LTE infrastructure for distribution automation purposes. The solution is based on four key values. The first is uh, having a dedicated spectrum for the utilities. The second value would be leveraging uh, commercial wireless network like LTE. And the third value would be the ability to drive the power of IP and PLS deep into the distribution environment. And then the fourth uh, value, which is extremely important, is the ability of both companies to leverage their combined experience working with utilities to help build and operationalize the field area network for them. And Mike, can you tell us a little bit about what the benefits are? I sure can, thank you, Amy. So the first thing, Kamal mentioned that we're utilizing licensed spectrum from AT&T. That's an important thing because as we think about the Internet of Things and the billions of devices that might be on these networks over the next few years that are using unlicensed technology, there's a good issue uh, that some of this could actually interfere with technologies. And so having a licensed path is critical to the utilities. That's number one. Number two, the infrastructure, infrastructure that we're building with Nokia actually has two wireless paths. One that will use this private network that we're talking about. The other one is a fallback technology to AT&T's commercial cellular network. So in other words, if the private network doesn't work, you can fall over to our commercial network. Or if you haven't actually built out the private network, you could start deploying with our commercial network and then move over to the, uh, the private one later. And then the last point that I'd add, we built this solution from the ground up thinking about security, cybersecurity in particular. And so from start to finish as we implement these and we grow and scale the business, those are the main benefits. And what's the input from both of you about the strategic value? Amy, the, this uh, field area network uh, infrastructure is going to evolve to become a strategic asset for our customers. It would uh, evolve to become the fabric that would connect all the devices and all the applications and create an environment that allows utilities to collect data in real time. Mike, do you want to add? I think fabric's a great word, actually. It, it does become the fabric for so many things to be built upon, but most importantly, it is getting the data insights out of these different applications, whether we're talking about smart meters, the distribution, or having this infrastructure as a platform for a broader IoT strategy that you might be deploying in the future. Mike, Kamal, thank you very much for your time. And if anybody wants to know any more information, we'll have the website below.